What that does is it gives this board a sense of uh, a directionality. To me, this, this feels like the board is almost in motion pushing this way. When pushing large pieces of thin plywood through the table saw, it's important that you lift the back end up high as you push forward. This makes sure the front is resting flat on the table. Let's talk about the legs for a moment, because what you do with the legs can really dramatically affect the final appearance of this piece. Add a little bit of a, a curve here, maybe a taper there, and you'll notice that the piece all of a sudden takes on a completely different personality. The plan itself calls for a nice straight leg. It's going to give it a very stout and sturdy appearance. One quarter inch is the first line. Now at the top of the rear left leg, we can see in the drawing that the haunch tenon has the tenon, the longer portion of the tenon is focused on the lower bit. The first time you use the jig, you'll have to plow through that plywood, so take your time. A little tear out here won't hurt anything. So take your time with this too, because you don't want to go too far. Wow, look at the difference that made already. Sliding in with no problem at the front here. It's just the natural error that happens in projects. As long as you know where that error exists and where to make adjustments for it, the final product isn't affected at all. I also take the opportunity to get the top caught up with the rest of the piece. And I guess it's not officially a chest of drawers or a dresser until I put some socks in it. So, there we go. Now it's official.